haven't worn these since last year getting season. Think there's gonna be something in there? I hear stuff. Oh. It's just gravel. I was afraid there might have been some kind of nest in there. Always check your boots. Always check your boots. Anyways, good morning everyone. We have kind of an interesting job lined up for this morning. It rained last night, but only 30 hundredths. So that's not enough. Three hundredths. Thought you said 30. Only three. It rained three, three hundredths. Yeah, so it barely rained. It did not rain last night. I strike that last remark I made. It did not rain last night. I thought you said 30. No, three hundredths. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so we're definitely not shutting pivots off. But we have a pivot that the end gun, it works, but it works a little too well. It doesn't shut off. And if we don't shut it off soon, it's going to spray on the road and you really don't want that because then the road washes out, it gets muddy. I don't like that. Angry neighbors call the cops on you. Neighbors don't like that. You can actually get a ticket if you leave your end gun on the road because anyways, the point is we don't want the end gun to run on the road. Unfortunately, the way to shut it off. Someone's getting wet. Someone's getting wet. So I was wondering if Grant would rock, paper, scissor me for the job. I uh. challenge you. I think my boots take seniority over your boots because you're already prepared to get wet. I still want to rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Ready? No cheating. <laughs> okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Boom. You're crawling up the pivot. Fine. I'll drive you out there. We can turn the heater on. Here's the situation we're dealing with. Here's our pivot, and there is our end gun. Immediately, I'm encouraged about a few things about my particular situation. I noticed that around the end gun area that I'm going to have to be crawling up, there's not the sprinklers that are gonna be hitting me in the face. There's some, well, look at all the corn. It's green out there. Pause. You guys, this is where the pivot has been running. Look at the little guys. Holy cow. We have corn. Do you see the singulation in the spacing? So like there's one seed, there's one seed. Like they're perfectly and evenly spaced apart. Look at all of them. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself, Grant. I'm proud of us. This is so cool. Anyways, like I was saying, the ladder where I'm going to be climbing, <laughs> oops, the ladder where I'm going to be climbing, never mind, I'm going to be getting, oh, <laughs> the light had to plug in. <laughs> I am going to be getting soaked. I realize it doesn't look that wet out there, but I promise you, very prep for later. Crank that sucker. This is going to be cold for two reasons. One, it's only about 65 degrees outside. And two, this water is like ground temperature water. Like this stuff is freezing cold. And the, there's only a ladder on one side of the tower and the wind is blowing all the water at me when I'm dry, when I'm walking up the ladder. You got it, honey. I'm gonna have to change clothes after this. You definitely will. And maybe drink a cup of coffee. <sighs> okay, I just have to be brave. Are you ready? Yep.
<laughs> you are soaked! I got it though! <laughs> it worked! Woo. They're pretty much worthless. Did you see this tractor over here? Neighbors, it's pretty cool. Neighbors got this awesome 8410T. That's 16 row mounted planter, two track, big tanks. This thing's awesome. I cut my finger while I was up on the pivot. I know it doesn't look like much, but it really hurts. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys, it's super, super loud out there, so I'm not going to go out there. I'm going to stay in the Ranger and tell you, but this is the pivot that we just shut the end gun off at. This is the diesel engine that runs this well that pumps water through the pivot. The diesel engine is also making electricity, providing this uh, pivot with the power that it needs to actually move the wheels and progress along the field. Right now, Grant is checking the drip oil. This is what keeps the well lubricated. This is another well. The pivot that it's providing water for is right there. But if you notice, there's no diesel engine out here. That's because this pivot is completely electric. It is powering the pivot's moving functions and also pumping water from the well. This is the only pivot on the farm we have that is run from this electrical panel all of the other pivots that we have and there's a lot of them are either run by diesel or natural gas even though there's no engine to check on out here you still have to make sure that the pivot isn't functioning running order it's running at the right speed um, it's pumping water where it's supposed to and how it's supposed to and also that that drip oil that i mentioned from the last well is dripping and lubricating the well show you guys this was the field first planted and look at this little guy there's the seed that we planted and look at that root it grew so cool you know as a farmer you go out and you plant all these seeds and when you're digging behind the planter I was really just thinking like wow I really hope these seeds grow you know, like we're trying to do everything right, but you just never really know. It's just really cool to see all your hard work paying off. do but they don't we're just getting the the achy jobs knocked out all at one time right away this morning we're going to change a flat pivot tire how could there possibly be a flat tire already so for that job 
gonna need this bad boy. High lift jack. The widow maker, as some people might call it. The jawbreaker. Is there room for a tire in there? I think so. Which tire looks best? Got the little on. Little nubs? Yeah. Oh, it's even a, a Titan tire. I think we could take this one. Which brand new? The tire probably weighs more than you do. Probably. Good thing I have some experience doing this. Some people have to go to the gym to flip tires. I just go to work. And ours have rims in them. So the key, the key is all about angles, right? Because I can't just lift it straight up. So what I'm going to do is angle it away a little bit, okay? This, that way I can get under it some. Like this, and then the next thing is that you need to lift your legs, not your back. Center it. Do you want some help? Nope, nope. I think you want some help. Nope. Knew it. Oh, man. Yeah. I need some help. help. All right. As Duggo would say. Project. Here's our little ranger setup. We got some oil jugs, tool, the shovel, water pole, fire. This thing's a beast. Alright, it's not even 9 30 yet this morning. Not even 9 30. It's already been a big day. We gotta save some projects for other videos. So, we thought. We'll close out. I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!